All right, all right, all right. Now, like you know this, I figured I'd do my personal one over again, and I'll see which one I like better. Yes, it's late in the, for my third week review, but I'm not sorry because this is the last week that my boy is off before he goes back to school and my daughter is not sleeping. Um, so, spending time with him, getting everything done, you know, all the physicals, all the, uh, you know, took him to the toy store, which is amazing we can have them, bought him some Transformers, Disney stuff for Mother. So, here is week three, and then I'll be doing week four, which is now Tuesday. And then more money, more videos next week. So, the bad. This is me personally, and, and there's a fair amount of people that I have on it and they're doing research and no one's complaining about this except for me my protein okay let me back up so i'm super in tune with my body i have a really hard time losing muscle unlike everybody else my thing is the body fat can't lose it expressed that before again everything works with me a little bit differently i've always had an appetite issue I've always had to just like force feed myself, but then when I watch what other people eat, I guess it's not really that bad, but I come from a different generation. So what it's doing is I'm not craving protein and that's normally all I crave. I never have, uh, uh, yeah, I have a junk food craving, but, and a sugar tooth, so I crave my iced tea or whatever, but I never have a problem eating protein and I'm having, I really didn't eat much protein at all in the third week really at all like maybe a half a pound a day and I normally eat two to three pounds of Wagyu ground beef Wagyu steak a day that's primarily my source is Wagyu and it's just the weirdest thing I'm not, I'm not craving it so of course without the protein I've lost, lost a lot of weight now I did lose a little bit of muscle uh, like an inch off my chest um, a little bit off my arms but I've also my doctors also put me on a anastrozolol or whatever it is I don't know an anti-estrogen that I legally get from my doctor from my endocrinologist so my estrogen was through the roof which I have no idea why I think I know why I think it was actually a pre-workout I was experimenting on um, that everybody takes but who knows what they put in it and it seems that the people that are high on estrogen, the guys that have high estrogen, the GW seems to make us tired. So I had to force myself to eat the protein. Um, energy still pretty good. Less stims, um, you know, less less energy drinks, less pre-workouts. I feel lighter, which is good. Um, I just feel lighter, like it's like it's eating the visceral fat in, internal around the organs and everything. I, I just feel better. Um, it seems my kidneys are, are better, my blood pressure is better, everything's just better. I don't sweat as much. So again, well worth the the basically 100 bucks, 80 to 120 bucks a bottle a month. And like I said, I do offer a combo which has the SR, GW, and the Alcar in it. That's over a hundred bucks. There are emails in there to contact me if you want to do research yourself. Or you know if somebody wants to do research, um, give you a list of all the research products. And then, sorry, it's, it's just really a <laughs> weird week. Um, so, less protein craving. So, if anybody else is doing that, is experiencing that, let me know. But like I said, I did drop a little bit of body fat, which is good. Uh, size is down a little bit. And that's about it. So honestly, I absolutely love the supplement. And then Tuesday, I'll upload this week, week four, and whatever else knows. And then plus next week, will be a lot of videos uploaded, plus the food ones. Thanks.